What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel and today I have for you guys a highly requested ball spinations. It's probably been requested for ever since I started the series, uh, maybe the last two years or so, uh, but it is the short pin reactive ball versus the urethane ball and I'm gonna talk you guys through why most or all, pretty much all, professional bowlers will elect for the urethane ball rather than the short pin reactive ball. But before we get started guys, please hit please hit that like, comment, and subscribe button, and let's get right into it. So here I have a Magic Gem with a short pin layout. This is a one and a half inch pin. You can see it's all the way out there. Not something you'll commonly see from me. This is probably the only time you'll see it from me. Uh, with a six and a half inch mash bias down there, and a one inch buffer, I'm pretty sure. And then, you know, the good old reliable fast pitch is gonna be the urethane ball that we use today. But first I'm gonna throw this magic gem, let you guys see it a little bit and then talk you through why we typically wouldn't use them. Feeling extra sluggish today, but we'll soldier through. Ugh. So the thing is, like the way I see bowling balls and how different parts of the ball control ball reaction, for me, the cover stock is, I would say, 80% of the ball reaction and predominantly controls the front part of the lane. And you'll hear the terms a lot, controlling lane front to back, controlling the front part of the lane. And cover stock is probably the most important part of that. And then I feel like layout is probably what controls the middle part of the lane, that's how I would describe it, kind of how it exits the pattern. So if we're manipulating the layout, that is gonna change how the ball is gonna react in that middle part of the lane, how it's exiting the pattern. But what we're concerned with when we throw urethane balls is getting that ball to hook in the front part of the lane. So they kind of do the same thing as they exit the pattern, but they're not using energy the same in the front part of the lane, which is mainly the reason why we choose the urethane ball, because no matter what you do to the layout, you're not gonna change the material of what the ball is actually made of. And urethane versus reactive, we know urethane hooks much sooner. So that's one of the main reasons why. But I'm gonna try and adjust here, maybe get the blood flowing through a little harder. And for me, it just feels a little bit harder to control the break point with a short pin ball. There are very specific times that I would use a short pin reactive ball. Um, and mainly one of the only times I would think of using one is maybe a tournament like Open Championships where I can stay on a pair and I can manipulate it. And something like this will help me stay further right where the urethane balls might get offline a little bit too early and they also transition the lane a little bit different because we know urethane balls carry oil down the lane because it sits on the surface, whereas a reactive ball will pick up the oil and absorb it. But for me personally, that's one of the only times that I would use a short pin reactive ball. But here I'm just gonna give you guys a look at the old fast pitch from the same spot. I don't think a lot of you guys are actually gonna see the difference because this is just a house shot, so everything's gonna look pretty decent. But I'll try and describe to you guys what I'm seeing. Oh, that's such a bad shot. That shot probably didn't tell you guys much, but if I were to throw a series of shots, you would see the urethane ball pick up much sooner and it doesn't flare. This thing doesn't flare, do you see that? So what that enables me to do is I can throw it slower and because it's urethane, it still picks up in the front part of the lane, but this one's gonna have a better chance of continuing as I move a little further left to where I feel like the short pin reactive ball, very small window of usage. Because that core is laying down so much, when I keep moving left, by the time it gets to the end of the pattern, it's gonna already want to have gone straight. 
as far as the core is concerned, where this one doesn't really flare at all. So it'll have more, more of a chance to keep continuing. That's a better shot. I just have more faith in that one as far as staying in a spot and then moving left as lanes transition. Whether it's because I throw it a lot more compared to a short pin reactive, who knows? That is mainly the reason why you're gonna see a lot of people throw urethane as opposed to short pin reactive. Who this might be good for? Short pin reactive? Let me think on that. There's definitely an application. See, it still gets through the front part of the lane like a reactive ball. It doesn't really start to pick up. Visually, I don't think you can see it on camera, but just having bowled a lot, having thrown a lot of urethane balls and having thrown a lot of reactive balls, I can see the difference. I can feel the difference more than I can see it. <clears throat> but a ball like this, I think would be good for maybe a lower rev rate person who wants to get kind of a urethane reaction and those who can't really get a urethane ball to hook because they don't flare. That's about the only kind of people that I would steer a short pin reactor to as opposed to a urethane. But I'm gonna try and get that one to <clears throat> face up a little better. I mean, it looks great and all, that one, but I just feel a lot more consistency with a urethane ball. It's gonna pick up in the front part of the lane in the majority of the oil. <clears throat> and like I said, the house shot's not a very good place to demonstrate this. <clears throat> if I was going on a short pattern, the reactive ball would still, you know, when it exits the pattern, it would make a much sharper move than the urethane ball would. Yeah, you can ma manipulate surface, but it's still not gonna change the fact that the reactive ball is a reactive ball and the urethane ball is a urethane ball. You can kind of see it where I feel like the fast pitch is gonna, for me, do the same thing every time. Because it's low flare, because it's a urethane ball, it's gonna pick up in the front part of the lane. In the short pin I found, by testing it, I've actually had it for three or four weeks now. I filmed and I didn't get the camera settings right. Um, you move around the lane or you try and chase it left and it'll very quickly, when you go one or two boards left, it'll very quickly just not hook where the fast pitch I feel like can keep up. Because of that low flare, I can control it with speed You see how smooth that ball is. It's, it's slowing down as it crosses the lane much more consistently and more progressively than the short pin reactive would. And it's gonna have a better chance of continuing through the pins a lot better than the short pin reactive. And then you know, by the time I get far enough left, I might as well just throw a regular reactive ball. So that is why you're gonna see crows go urethane balls, and then when they get to a certain point, reactive balls. It's just, there really isn't a use for a short pin reactive ball for the guys on tour specifically. Like I said, if you are a lower rev rate person, especially lower ball speed, um, shorter pin reactive balls could help you get a little bit of a smoother transition, but you're still gonna get a little bit more clearance through the front part of the lane as opposed to a, a urethane ball. So there is an application, but for people like me, that's pretty much why. Your thin ball is king. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys like this jersey, check out EFX. Link is down in the description below. Go to the search bar up on the top right. Search Nat Sanders. This is a sandy jersey representing the buds out there, all my pals. Check it out. Also check out the Michael Tang collection. Go to check out once you select one or two or three or four jerseys. Use promo code MITA for 10% off at checkout. And then you'll be styling in the FX. But that's it guys, urethane, short pin reactive.
That's why we don't use short pin reactives. I'm not saying you shouldn't. You should give it a try. See if it's something that you like, especially if you're somebody who throws your urethane and just can't get it to strike. Try something else. Short pin urethane or short pin reactive could be the difference. I'll see you guys later.